Even for the most judgmental, it's hard to pass judgment on the city of Chengdu in southwest China. After all, it's home to the cuddly giant pandas. It's given us the world-famous citron peppercorn, indispensable in spicy hot pots. It's the birthplace of Chinese tea culture, and it's even got the biggest shopping mall in the world. But how about add to that two new museums that are making their debut with the 2021 Chengdu Biennale? The Chengdu Art Academy has just unveiled the launch of its Chengdu Museum of Contemporary Art and Chengdu Tianfu Art Museum. Together, they are showcasing hundreds of works of paintings, sculptures, installations, and digital media as part of the Biennale, which hopes to create a super fusion between the regional, the international, traditional, and modern works of art. The 2021 Chengdu Biennale inaugurates eight themed exhibitions, 17 paralleled exhibitions, and an international summit entitled Future Co-Conception. This year, 275 artists from China and abroad are invited. Among them are not only internationally renowned artists, but also a new generation of young local artists. Among the many displays is Networked Ecosystem, a live simulation that presents an ecosystem consists of digital senses. The piece is a collaborative effort between American Mark Ramos and Chinese Wu Ziyang. Natural phenomena are replaced by digital and artificial systems. China's Shi Jingsong presents winding pines among a myriad of valleys, making reference to the eponymous work by Southern Song Dynasty painter Li Tang. Shi explores the fusion of classical and contemporary Chinese art. Through this exhibit, the curators hope to bring art closer to the city and to our lives. The works of global artists have been brought together at the Biennale, achieving a fusion of artworks. Art is a very good means for us to communicate with the world, especially during the pandemic these past two years. The 2021 Biennale is free to the public. This year's theme, Superfusion, reflects China's concept of fostering a community of mutual learning through cultural exchanges. Ling Siyue, CGTN.